students, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed learning with us so far. Are you ready for today's lesson? I'm ready. I hope you're too. Hi, Austin. It's so good to have you back with us. Thanks. It's great to be back too. Last week, we learned many different ways to ask about other people's jobs and also how to describe our own jobs. Right. We learned some WH questions that may help you with these descriptions. Uh, for example, we talk about uh, what do you do, uh, which company are you with, uh, where do you work. Okay, those are good questions that you can find out more information. Today we're going to learn how to exchange information when people need to know some need to know how to do something. Well, why don't we take a look at our chapter focus for now? Yeah, let's go. Today's chapter focus has a few parts. First, to learn some useful opening expressions that help lead up to conversations for getting more information. Second, to learn some techniques to ask for more information. And three, to learn some delaying techniques. Thank you, Austin. Uh, today's 单元的焦点是什么呢? Uh, Austin, what do you want to have for dinner? Well, it depends on when we finish the taping. That is right. If we have more time, we can go to a sit-down restaurant. And if we don't, we could always grab something at a convenience store. I'm so glad that you are not a picky eater. Are you a coffee drinker? You could say that, but I am pretty picky about coffee. Instant coffee, I usually pass on it. <laughs> but instant coffee is a convenient. Just add hot water to it and then you got it. That's true. Sometimes you need a cup of coffee but you don't have the time to go to a shop. In this case, convenient can be the way to go. That's true. Actually, in Taiwan right now, many people are coffee drinkers, and there are many locally run great coffee shops. conversation one. You talk about depend. Okay, we Austin it depends on 我们的, it depends 我们的时间有多少 那我也说了他不是一个 picky eater 呃, 然后我们谈到了 instant coffee instant 立即的 哈, 我们也谈到了 locally run 哈, 本地人所经营的 coffee shop 那现在我们要看到的第一个 conversation 呢, 是Robin 帮忙Amy在为第一天来上班的新同事 接下来看 Conversation 1 I wonder if you can tell me where I can get good coffee It depends on your price range and how picky you are Okay then, can you tell me what my choices are? Well, if you don't want to spend anything the office provides instant coffee in the lounge Instant coffee? I think my taste is a little better than that Really? Well, I don't know much about coffee. I'm a tea drinker. I know of two places within walking distance. One is a locally run coffee shop on the first floor of this building. And the other one? There's a Starbucks about two blocks from here. You know the price is there. Yes, thank you. This may sound like a dumb question, but could you also tell me how to use the office copy card? I'd be glad to. Let's go to the copy room and I can take you through the process. You've been very helpful. I appreciate it. 刚刚在conversation 1出现了几个生字 我们来看第一个depend 依什么而定 我们看英文的解释是什么 To be decided by something that is mentioned Austin老师说 这是根据所提到的事情而决定 好,那我们现在来看例句 Austin老师会read the first time and I will repeat it Okay, here we go 
The result of the game will depend on the opinions of the judges. The result of the game will depend on the opinions of the judges. 比赛的结果取决于评审们的意见。好，我们来看第二个生字，叫 picky。Picky 形容词，挑剔的。Someone who is picky only likes specific things and is not easily pleased. 是的，当一个人是 picky 的时候，是指某个人因为挑剔他的喜爱特定的东西而难以取悦他。我们现在再来看例句。Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. She only eats what she likes. Esther is a picky eater. 只可以在短时间内加入水呃热水，准备完成一些素食的食物或饮料。我们来看例句。The boss gave me an instant reply when I asked for sick leave. The boss gave me an instant reply when I asked for sick leave. 当我邀请要求病假的时候，老板马上就给我答复了。下一个生字叫 locally run. OK, 这个字叫做本地人所经营的。A shop or business is owned by people who live in that area. 这个是指住在本地的人所开的商店或企业。我们来看例句。These locally run gift shops are worth visiting. These locally run gift shops are worth visiting. 这些由本地人所经营的礼品礼品店很值得逛逛。在下一个生字叫 dumb， 那个 b 不发音 ，dumb 是一个形容词，愚昧的。Stupid. <笑> All right， 我们来看 dumb 的啊、uh, example. You gave your phone number to a stranger. That was a dumb thing you did. You gave your phone number to a stranger. That was a dumb thing you did. 你把你的电话号码给一个陌生人，你真是笨呐、啊。To play or act dumb, to pretend to not know or understand something. 好的，这个意思就是你假装不知道或不了解某事物。Austin, what can be flexible? Hmm, anything that is not stuck in a fixed position, I suppose. But In the world of business English, it usually refers to how we can change to fit new situations, especially with our schedules and time. Can I say this summer our schedule for filming this program is very flexible? The filming for this show has been very accommodating to our busy schedules as educators. I would say it fits that description. Okay. 各位同学，老师先解释一下，刚刚我用了 flexible 这个字哈。呃，刚刚 Austin 老师的解释是说 ，flexible 这个字呢，啊、呃，在商业生啊、呃、business setting 里头，通常就是指你的时间很弹性，可以做调整的哈。那啊、呃，这是我也特别用了。那么我们这个 summer 做的节目时间是不是也很弹性？他觉得可以这么用的。You probably have noticed many business have started to move to South Asia countries. Many companies' expansion is changing their direction. Companies need to be flexible in order to stay competitive. Being flexible lets businesses take advantage of new opportunities. 刚刚我们用了 flexible 这个字，哈。那然后还用了一个，就是目前台湾好多的企业界都往东南亚去扩张 expansion。那待会在我们的 second conversation， Robin is trying to find out more information about Trans Pacific moving companies from Mr. Watson's， 也就是他们要谈这些啊啊问题。我们先来看啊 conversation two。
Could you tell me a little more about your company? We provide door-to-door -door moving services regionally and internationally. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand the word regionally. Do you mean within the country? Yes, our company's headquarters is located in Dallas, Texas, but we have many branch offices in other major cities in the United States. Something else I'd like to know is how many employees you have. In our head office, we have about 40 employees, but internationally the number is around 200. And are your working hours like Taiwan's from 9 to 6? We're a little more flexible with our office hours. Some people work from 7 to 3, others 8 to 4. Would you mind telling me more about your plans for expansion in Asia? Well, that's a good question, but I can't accurately answer that one. Maybe I can refer you to our Asia representative. 刚刚在conversation2里头出现了两个生字,我们要take a closer look at them. 第一个生字叫flexible. Flexible的意思是指弹性的. Flexible means able to make changes to suit new conditions. 是的。Flexible就是只可以做更动来符合新的条件。那现在我们再给你一个例句. This company offers their employees a flexible working schedule. This company offers their employees a flexible working schedule. 这间公司提供员工弹性的上班时间。下一个生字叫expansion. Expansion的意思是指扩张。Expansion is the process of making a business grow by adding more employees, moving into new areas, or selling more products. 是的,expansion就是透过雇用更多的员工或迁移到新的地点,或是销售更多的产品来扩展生意的过程。那我们再来看例句。The expansion of our company has caused it to double in size. The expansion of our company has caused it to double in size. 我们公司因为扩张成长了一倍。Austin, did you know what is the most popular coffee chain store in Taiwan? Hmm, if I had to make a guess, I would probably say 85 degrees. Well, 85 degree is a popular one, I agree, but it's not the most popular one. Guess again. Hmm. Well, then it must be Starbucks. That's right. Starbucks is a well-known international chain of the, uh, chain of the coffee shops. 星巴克是国际知名的连锁商店. What does that mean, take somebody through something? Hmm. Taking somebody through something means to explain to someone in detail how something should be done. Okay, 这个意思是向某人详细地解释事情该怎么做。For instance, I don't understand how to use this coffee machine, and my friend is going to help me. Then he can say, getting this coffee machine working takes some skill. I'll take you through the steps. 是的,刚刚Austin老师对take you through,让人可以怎么用咖啡机,他觉得这需要一些技巧,所以take you through就是让他带你操作这些步骤。好的,各位同学,接下来我们就要一起来看这两个conversation. I wonder if you can tell me where I can get good coffee. It depends on your price range and how picky you are. Okay, then, can you tell me what my choices are? Well, if you don't want to spend anything, the office provides instant coffee in the lounge. Instant coffee? I think my taste is a little better than that. Really? Well, I don't know much about coffee. I'm a tea drinker. I know of two places within walking distance. One is a locally run coffee shop on the first floor of this building. And the other one? There's a Starbucks about two blocks from here. You know the price is there. Yes, thank you. This may sound like a dumb question, but could you also tell me how to use the office copy card? I'd be glad to. Let's go to the copy room, and I can take you through the process. You've been very helpful. I appreciate it.
Could you tell me a little more about your company? We provide door-to-door -door moving services regionally and internationally. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand the word regionally. Do you mean within the country? Yes, our company's headquarters is located in Dallas, Texas, but we have many branch offices in other major cities in the United States. Something else I'd like to know is how many employees you have. In our head office, we have about 40 employees, but internationally the number is around 200. And are your working hours like Taiwan's from 9 to 6? We're a little more flexible with our office hours. Some people work from 7 to 3, others 8 to 4. Would you mind telling me more about your plans for expansion in Asia? Well, that's a good question, but I can't accurately answer that one. Maybe I can refer you to our Asia representative? Expressions opening expressions. asking for information. answering and delaying. 待会Austin老师他会一句一句的念,那老师会把重要的字特别向你们强调。我们请Austin老师开始。Excuse me, do you know James Wong, the president of this company? Okay, excuse me is a key word. 当你要打扰人家问问题的时候, excuse me, 要特别的说明。第二个, this may sound like a dumb question, but I'd like to know how to operate this scanner. I'd like to know. 你要让别人知道, uh, 你需要他的帮忙,好像有点觉得不好意思,有点像是很愚昧的问题, but I'd like to know something. 下一个. I wonder if you could tell me where I can get a good cup of coffee. I wonder if, 也是很客气的问人家, I wonder if you could tell me. I hope you don't mind, but I'd like to know your company's pension plan. I hope you don't mind. 这也是问人家问题的一个客气的表达方式。我们要往下看, asking for information. Sorry, I don't quite understand why we can't give Mr. Smith a quotation today. Sorry, OK, 这个时候用sorry来开始, Okay, excuse me, 有一点像,我们还有别的例句。Could you tell me a little more about your company? Could you tell me, could you do something? Could you tell me, 这是一个好的起手。I'd like to know more about your products. I'd like to know more, I'd like to know more. 我想要知道更多你的产品。Do you know anything about this upcoming conference? Do you know anything about... Da, 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 da? OK, do you know anything about... 这也是请人家帮助你的一个好方式。Would you mind telling me more about your family? Would you mind telling me... Would you mind... 后边一定要接的动词是要加ing. Would you mind telling me... How would you mind helping me? 这个都是请求人的方式。Something else I'd like to know is how much of a discount you will offer. Something else I'd like to know. 除了一些事情之外,还有一些事我想知道。Something else I'd like to know. 好,接下去我们要学另外一个很重要的叫做回答跟delay,就是说你不太知道答案。那这时候你怎么用英文表达呢? 我们来请Austin老师开始。Well, let me see. Well, let me see. 这样子的时候就表示你delay回复。这个时间你可以process what you are going to answer the question. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. 我一点都不知道这个要怎么说。这样子也是一个表达 delay的一个方式 
I can't answer that one. 你很诚实的就说 I can't answer that one. 我无法知道。可能之后你会给他答案，但是这个时候你用这个方式表达是很好的。Oh, let me think for a minute. Oh, let me think for a minute. 啊，让我想一想。That's a very interesting question. 这个回答非常好。你听不懂，或者是你不会的时候，你就可以说 "That's a very interesting question." You don't have an answer, but you tell the person you're responding their question by telling them this is an interesting question. 这个都是 delaying 的技巧。同学们来到 Q&A section， 这是这一学期的新的单元。我们再一次的邀请到两位学生，两位在职场的学生，他们提出对这个单元啊、呃、的一些问题。我们首先来看第一个问题。Hi, I'm Michael. It's good to be back. Hi, I'm Molly. I have a question. Our transitional phrases. We learned in this lesson, such as "this may sound like a dumb question, but is it necessary using it in talks, or can we just ask the question directly?" That's a great question. Of course, you could go without using a transitional phrase, but you risk coming off as being a little bit rude. Asking someone this kind of thing gives them time to respond to your question. If you simply fire off your question very quickly, they might not have enough time to think of an answer. Sometimes people say that in English we go around questions and answers instead of ask, instead of answering too directly, and of course this can be true. However, this is a big part of speaking English. We like to give people room to answer our questions and to have space when they talk. 谢谢 Austin 老师，也谢谢 Michael 的 question. Michael 觉得说从一开始说 "This may sound like a dumb question," 是不是有点不好？是不是可以就直接就单刀直入就问问题？但是奥斯汀老师的回答非常好。他说，其实这是很 polite way, polite way for you, and and you give them room to think about how to answer your question. 所以这是一个呃好的互动的方式。所以啊， uh, 谢谢 Austin 老师，也谢谢 Michael 的 question。所以这个不是只说自己很不好啊，这很笨啊，问的问题，这是一个很 polite way， 很很有礼貌的一个方式。那接下来我们就要来看第二位同学提出来的问题了。My first question for today is: Can the word flexible? We learn in these lessons apply to different situations besides dealing with time. That's another great question. The word flexible can mean anything that can move and doesn't have to stay in a place that is rigid. So a piece of wood could be flexible. A piece of string could be flexible. When we're talking about someone's job, however, not only can someone be flexible with their time and their schedule, meaning that. They could switch the time when they do certain things, but it also means that maybe someone's position could be flexible. They could maybe work answering the phone, and then later they could do another job, like filing a claim. Their job isn't fixed in one position. They can change to fit many different things. Very good. Thank you, Austin, and thank you, Molly. You're asking about the flexible 这个字是不是只能用啊、呃、能够用在时间上而已吗？事实上，刚刚 Austin 老师给我们非常多的，在商场上，你的工作可以很 flexible， 你不是只有时间 flexible， 你不是只有时间有弹性，你还有可能是在你的工作职务上很有弹性。你一会做 filing the claim 的工作，哎、呃，一会做呃 office， 一会做那个 assistant， 一会做啊啊、呃呃、telephoning 回答电话。也就是说，你的工作是很 flexible 的。啊，很有弹性的，所以这个字的用法是在商场上是很多的。那接下来我们来听第三个，我们来看第三个同学的问题。I was also wondering, 
what kind of information can I exchange in a social contact? This is a very important question. If you're going to exchange information in a social setting, you'll need to make sure that you go over a few key things. First is obviously your name. You want someone to know what to call you. Mm. You also need to tell them where you work and maybe the name of the position at your job. You should also include your telephone number or email, maybe both, however they can reach you. I think as long as you cover those basics, anything else could also be included, but might be a little extra. 谢谢Austin 公司派你出差,你可以在这些social的这种party里头 uh, exchange all this information so people will get to know your company, your products, your service, everything. Okay, very good. Next question. My last question is, how do I respond when I don't know their questions? Thanks, Molly. I think it's fine if you just admit that you don't know their question. You can always admit that you don't understand something. In fact, it's probably the best option at this point. You could get into a pretty bad mess if you try to pretend that you know something when you really don't. Yes. How do you respond? Okay, if you don't know their questions, Austin well, 你就很诚实地说你不知道。这个没有什么好丢脸的,你就可以说, uh, uh, I, I don't know your question, would you mind to repeat it, uh, those things. 特别在商场上,Austin老师说, pretend, because that could cause you a lot of trouble, you, you, you never know. 所以你不要假装说, 啊, 我懂这个问题, 然后就, uh, 不要,我们就很诚实地说, um, I don't know your question. Uh, can you clarify your question? 有时候有些人的问题是因为你的专业知识不够, 那这时候你可以请他用不同的方法来告诉你, 来问你问题, 啊, 等等的, 啊, 就, 就是不要pretend to know you, you know the question. Well, we really enjoy learning together, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a nice day. Thanks. See you later. Bye.